A really underrated feature of Descript is its media library. There's all kinds of things in there to put in videos and audios. Let's take a look. All right, we're in Descript. We're in sort of a play project here that I use to demonstrate studio sound, so it doesn't really make any sense, but stick with me because we're just looking at stock media. I have this broken into scenes, and you can see those over here in the scene rail. You can also tell where they are by the slashes. The forward slashes here indicate the beginning of a new scene. So I'll just pick a scene here. Uh, this says the outdoors are beautiful, and I'm using a, using a stock voice, Don, to say that. I'm going to come here to a scene, and I'm going to make sure I'm in the right place because I want it to stay within the boundaries that I set, and scenes are a great way to set those boundaries for keeping everything organized, especially when you have things changing. We're here in this scene where we currently have this video. Of the outdoors are beautiful. And that's a perfectly fine video. It's one that I got from the library here, but let's see what, we, what else we have. So it pulls up the last thing that I searched for, which was Parade, and it drops us the very first tab here is Videos. But we can change what we want to search for. We can just type in something in search. So there I typed in Outdoors, and it starts searching. And it does that like um, predictive text searching thing. So as soon as you start typing some letters, it's going to start showing some results. Now, depending on which plan you're on is how many results you'll get. And there isn't a separate plan for the media. If you're a Descript subscriber, you have access to this media. It's depending on what level of your main subscription is as to how much media you'll have. So uh, in some programs, having access to stock media is a separate subscription, a separate price. In Descript, that's not the case. If you're a subscriber, you have access to this. If you're in the free plan, I believe there's only a, you only get a few results per search. And when you get into the paid plans, you get more everything. I'm on the pro plan. That's what I recommend. It makes sure that I have enough to do what I need to do with transcription limits and overdub and everything else. And I've never run out. So I'm very happy with that. And it gives me access to all of the stock media that's available. So we typed in uh, outdoors here, and you see you've got uh, lots of videos picked from. If you just hold your mouse over top of the video, it'll start to play. So you can see what it's going to do. This is pretty handy in some video editors. You have to like click the thing, open it up in a browser window. And then by the time you look at a few videos, you've got tons and tons of tabs open, and it's really, really annoying. Oh, here, we'll just pick this snowy one. And so you just click it, it'll drop it in. Again, it's going in the right place because we had put our mouse cursor right in front, right at the beginning of the scene. So you can tell both in the scene rail, we have it right up here. Uh, in this scene, that's what's showing up on our canvas. And then you have a new layer in your timeline that is this scene, this video. So it stayed right there within its little boundaries, which is great. And then we can go to another scene here. And we'll look through some other things. Let's, let's look at what else we have. Uh, videos, this is similar to what you would get with Pexels or Pixabay or Envato Elements or any of those other stock video deals. Backgrounds are, are in a separate tab here, which is pretty cool because sometimes you're just looking for a background. And so there's tons of those to pick from too. GIFs, I really like this feature because a lot of the stock libraries just don't have much in the way of funny or humorous pictures or videos or whatever. And GIFs, I'm sure you know, you know, that's where the funny is. So I found the GIFs really helpful to fill in a few seconds here and there. You have not only the GIFs, but you have Giphy stickers. And again, those are just as simple as click it and it'll drop it in. Images, lots of images here. Photos there, stock library, lots to choose from. You can type in your search terms and narrow that down. There are also illustrations, which some are photo-like and some of them are more like graphics. Unsplash, you're linked to the Unsplash library directly, so you don't have to go get things from Unsplash. You can just, if you want to search within Unsplash, just click here on this tab, uh, find what you want, click, and it'll drop right into your scene there. And this is perhaps where the most uh, handy dandy part is when you need an image that you just can't find in a stock library, text to image AI at the rescue. Earlier, I created some AI images of polar bears riding a bicycle in a parade. I'm not by any means a master of the prompts you write to get the best AI text to image things, but I wanna do this over again so you can see kind of how it goes. So I'm gonna use the same prompt. It'll probably give us completely different images. There we typed in polar bear riding a bicycle in a parade. 
I mean, those look like bears on bicycles. I probably like this one the best from yesterday. Some of these kind of look like somebody in a bear suit, maybe. If you're kind of digging one, but not exactly, you want it to give it another shot, you can just hit this little generate variations. Looks like a refresh to generate some variations of that particular image. There, it gave me a couple different versions. Those don't look very parade-like to me. I mean, that looks more like he's riding the bike down the street. And I'm not sure what the birthday hat's all about, but that's interesting. These that I produced earlier, that one certainly looks like he's at a parade. But this is a great spot to go when you need something unique and a photo will do, but you can't find a photo or a video that says what you're trying to say. Over in the audio tab, we have music and we have sound effects. This gives you the name of the track. And then over here on the right, you'll have the time, the length of the track. And you can press the little play button there to hear a preview of it. And if you want to insert it into your project, you just click on the title or anywhere over here. They also have sound effects, which are in a separate tab, which is pretty handy. And the same deal here. You got the length over to the right. You can preview here on the left and you can just click to add it in. Let's take a look at what the usage restrictions are on the libraries within Descript. And this is from the Descript help website. Unsplash is free. It's good for most commercial, personal and editorial projects. Giphy GIFs and stickers. So the GIFs and the Giphy stickers, those are not allowed to be used commercially. And then it says that the other stuff, aside from Unsplash and Giphy, so Unsplash, it says, is good for most commercial. Giphy and GIFs are non-commercial. And then everything else, including the music and sound effects, all the photos, illustrations, and everything like that, it says that those can be included in your works, including most commercial, personal, and editorial use. So, of course, they have more details in the terms of use. They also tell you that if you're using stock media and you're publishing to YouTube, you can fill out a form here to let them know and prevent accidental copyright claims or strikes. Right or wrong, I have not filled out that form. Uh, and I have not had an issue with any media that I've used from Descript's libraries. Now that I've said that, it'll probably happen today. And don't take that as advice to what to do or what not to do. Just letting you know what my experience is. I hope you found this somewhat helpful. If you have any questions or there's something I didn't explain well, please drop me a comment. I'll do my best to help. If you don't have Descript yet, there's a link in the description. Please check it out. There is a free plan, and the free plan gives you more than enough to find your way around the script, play with everything, see if you like it, see if it's going to work for you. And the free plan is forever, so you're not rushed to like seven days to check it out. The free plan has some limitations as far as how much of certain things you can do, but there's enough in there really to check everything out. And full disclosure, if you make a purchase after following one of my links, I may receive a small commission. It won't cost you a penny more, but I will certainly appreciate it. Thanks for watching.